Hey, look, another, uh, another, um, what you call affinity mission. Let's drop a party member and do it. This is one of the other ones that I was saying there's about three or four that we can do. And I kind of want to do as many as I can right now, so we're going to go ahead and start another one right now because we're already right here. Why waste time, am I right? Anyway, we need to drop a party member to be able to start this one. First of all, did I go up a blade level or no? Yes. I did not. Okay, I was just double checking. Just double checking. All right. Let's do a new rival? Okay. Let's see what rival the game may be referring to. Shun da da da. Um, hello? Yes. Could you not? Bitch? You there, the one about to take that mission? I'm speaking to you. I don't like the way you're speaking to me, so fuck you, buddy. Take the mission without paying me. Yeah, the way you're talking to me, not. The way you're looking at me, it's all wrong. You know, do that again. Stab you in the face with a solder knife. Bitch, please. Or maybe you're just hearing impaired. I don't know. Whatever. I'm continuing. Go ahead. Say more words. Now, See if I give a shit. Ah, yes. The mission you were about to take. I analyzed it based on criteria ranging from Pathfinder experience, build, intelligence. Yeah, well, in aggregate, the data clearly indicates that the most qualified candidate is me. Bitch! You don't know what I'm qualified to do. Did you just say, say your name was Hector Birthwhistle? Did he just say his name was Hector Birthwhistle? How, how such a thing could possibly benefit humanity? I'm just going to tell him to save his breath because he's a douche. Stubborn and insulting. No surprise. Look, just take this mission instead. I believe you want this mission so bad, why don't you just go with me? Oh hell, you know you did not just fucking offer me that shit. I have like a million of those already. I don't need more. You now insist on comparing yourself to me. Oh no. Two douche cakes in a row. How Only one of us can finish first. This will provide the loser by which I mean you ample chance to understand the gap separating us. Okay. Here we go. You are now in competition with a blade named HB for some reason. All right. Well, fuck you, HB. Stall a data probe in Primordia. Hey, that's stupid easy. We can do that. Generate revenue from a research probe. Hey, that's tough. I already did that too, but we can do that. Give the minimum meranium to taller. I already have hella meranium. I probably have enough to give that person right now. Whenever These missions are about to get done in about two seconds. Bitch, I thought we were in competition. You're supposed to go do them at the same time, and whoever finishes first wins. Them's the rules. Hey, look, I did one already. We installed a data probe. Tough, I know. All right, let's go give this fucking meranium to the dude over here. Hey, yo, dude, Towler. I got your shit already. 900 meranium. That's for childs. Yes, I present the required 900. You can have it. And I have plenty of meranium. I should go to the shops and invest some more. That's what I should do. I forgot to do that, and I didn't realize I already had maxed out again. I should probably do that, like, right now while we're here. Especially since I don't think I'm going to need much more meranium. And I think all that's left to do for this mission is wait till I get enough or get some accumulation from some of the probes I already have out there anyways. So anyway, let's see if I uh, get some nice little bumpage going on. Thinking, should we invest enough to go ahead and level up Sakuraba? Why not? I'm not even going to do math. Just invest 10. No math needed. Yay, we did it. R&D breakthrough. All products upgraded. Cool. Sounds good. All right, hold on to the rest for now. May or may not need it for another part of the different mission. I don't know. So, how do I complete the mission research? I just want to make sure that all I got to do is like wait around. Generate revenue out of research pro. Earn 3,000 credits from a Frontier Nav in a single return. I'm thinking I can probably already do that. I just have to wait till I get a return. Do I have to do anything specific to accomplish this one, or does it just kind of just happen random, like, you know, just from waiting for the stuff to accumulate? Because that stuff that accumulates on the left over there is stuff that I'm getting from my research probes and whatnot. Anyway, let's see if there's any missions I could pick up that might already be done. Just look for collectible ones. Um, this one? Nope. Just kind of hoping for it to maybe be done. Uh, new energy 
types. No, Grosium Core. I think I saw that one before. We don't have that one yet. At least we don't have it done. Just looking for Gather. Oh, there's a Miranium Quest one. Okay, well, we can do that real quick. Assuming that I have enough. 3,000... Sorry. I meant to set that one as... Uh, how much do you need? 4,000. That's exactly what I have. How fucking lucky that I didn't use too much to do this one now. Well then. Haha! <laughs> I have exactly enough to give you, girl. Here you go. No, oh, forget it. No one is going really going to turn with... Yeah, I already got it. Don't you worry, girl. I got you. Sweet crispy cheese! You single-handedly kept Meredith and Co. up and running. Well, you're welcome. Because that's how I roll. Now give me things. Thank you for your things. Your things are much appreciated. How long does it take to fucking get our stuff from Research Probes? Or do I literally have to do something on the map? That's one thing I'm wondering. If I click the map, and I go to a Research Probe, which I believe is one of these. Um, data Probe. Production ability, revenue, generates, revenue. Okay. I, uh, not entirely sure if and when I will get some stuff. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. I just gotta wait for it to fucking accumulate. I don't really know how long it takes, though, is the problem. I guess we'll just sit here and keep looking at missions for a minute. Um, yeah, I guess so. Anything in Oblivia? There's also some Caldros missions all of a sudden. Okay. Any collecting ones in Oblivia that maybe we have done have done already? Uh, supply of vegetables? I have no idea. Nope. At this point, I'm just grabbing missions to see if I have them done already. If they're gathering, it's possible I already have them. Um, we can abandon that one for now. That one. Please bring us some anemone platters. I don't think I have that one done yet. Um, no. Just keep going in and out of here for a minute. See if there's anything good here. Square bows, arm testers, Catawin leaves again. Flora, f m flowering morrow. I don't have. I don't have any of those either. Okay. Do I have anything I need for anything? Probably not. Whatever. I'm not worried about these missions right now. This is not a side quest episode. I don't care that much. I just want this shit to accumulate and we can be done. I don't know. remember how long it takes, though. Do I have to pass some time? What do I got to do? What else can I do in the meantime? I invested all my Meranium. I could go on the menu and do some stuff, I guess. Maybe I should just teleport somewhere else in the city and see if something happens. Let's go to the residential district for a minute and just kind of wander. I want to make sure that there's some uh, if there is any affinity quests over here anyways because I know there is some here but I don't remember if I've done them already or not or not that I've done them but if I can do them right now. Like there's this one which is level 30 and that one has to do with fog so that one's a no-no for now. Let's see. Did I mean to do that? There's another one over here, I believe. Probably a lot more affinity missions in this game. I just have to wait till we get higher level and more characters and other assorted randomness. It's funny to see houses in in this game, and then they have like they have scales outside, like it's their car. But then there's also cars. Can I do this one? I didn't even remember about if I could do this one. Level 21. I actually can almost do this one, but it requires you to go... Oh, and it has a basic mission that goes along with it. Okay. You have to go to Caldros, though? I haven't even been to Caldros yet. I should probably wait on that one. Probably should wait till the story gets me to go to Caldros before I start taking missions that take me there, huh? Probably. Unless I want to go out of my way to go explore over there. Why did I go over here again? I guess just to look around and waste time, because I thought... That would do the trick. Maybe we should change the time of day. Maybe that'll... I don't even know, man. I don't. I don't know. Let's go... Fuck it. Let's go back to the industrial district. Or the, uh, not industrial. Actually, yes! Let's go to the industrial district. I just remembered something that I noticed when I was walking around here. When I was... I told you I walked around in the beginning of this recording session. I told you. I was walking around city and I was just filling up the, uh... 
filling up the map with you know the rumors and stuff filling up the affinity chart with random townsfolk that were around here but on my travels I discovered something over here I think it's over here wedged back here by all these fucking boxes yeah there's a red question mark over here which I didn't see before there's this fucking guy professor B I totally wanted to talk to him but I didn't want to do it unless it was on screen obviously because it's a quest professor fucking B who are you who are you another of their assassins after what happened to the last guy they sent me, I'm impressed you had the blah, 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 to try me. I'm guessing that means balls. Explain that you're not an assassin. What that strange word was. Well, yeah, what was that word? I'm not here to give lessons to people trying to kill me. I'm, I'll am i fry you to a crisp. Same as your friend from before. What? What? You're not uh, attacking me? Why aren't you attacking me? What? You're a blade? Yeah, I heard of him. Hmm. Now that I get a look at you, you do look rather asshole -ish. Interesting, yes. And since Vevin's practically useless, maybe this person could help get the... Blah, 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 blah. Right then, you there, kid. Pay attention. My name is Professor blah, 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 blah. If you're looking for work, I'll have a truly amazing offer for you. Uh, ask the press for what blah, blah, blah means. Yeah. Inquire what uh, blah, blah, blah is. That's what I want to know. Oh, you heard me talking to myself, did you? Probably best for us both if you don't know any more. This language barrier is getting to be a real hassle. Half the words from the planet I came here for are unpronounceable in your language. I can't even properly introduce myself around here. Well, there's probably there's really nothing for it, I guess. Just Professor B will have to do for now. This voice that I'm doing for him is fluctuated m m too much. It's just a... He doesn't talk out loud. What am I supposed to do? Anyway, so then, about this job I have for you. I need a few things for my current research, and I appreciate if you could secure them. Should be simple enough for you, hmm? Especially if I pay you for your trouble. Sure, why not? What the fuck do you need, bro? I probably already have half of it, huh? Straight to the point. Professionalism. I like it. First, I'd like you to head west to Waterway Tangle and collect some ticky sap. Okay, I definitely don't have any of that. Oh, and this project is highly time sensitive, so please do make it fast, alright, kid? Alright, well, fine. Um. Sticky. Ticky sap? What the fuck did he call it? I don't even know. Maybe I'll go do this one right now while I'm ki killing time. Anyways, thanks. We're both wanderers through space, stranded on this rock. Gotta help another one out, eh? A. Alright, let's go get some fucking ticky sap. I don't even know what that means. Speak English next time, sir. It must only be like in a certain... It must be a rare thing. If that makes any sense. Let's just go do it, if I can. It'll kill time and hopefully let me accumulate the shit I need for this other quest. So, in the meantime, let's just check this shit out. What the hell, man? We're already doing quests. Let's do some more quests while we do our quests. What do you say? Does it sound like a plan? Where am I going? I don't know. The long way, I'm sure. Ticky 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 tembo. Ricky ticky tembo. No saw rembo. Want the ticky tap sap? Yap yo yembo. Fried shrimp gumbo. Ticky ticky tembo. Getting that absop swallowtail. Getting that second cosmos. I don't remember what items I already got from this place, man. I haven't been keeping track of the items I've been picking up in this goddamn Noctilum area. Anyway, let's get that Ricky Ticky Sap, Ricky Ticky Sap, what? Ricky Ticky Sap, Ricky Ricky Rack, what? Ricky Ticky Sap. Is it in the ca No, it's just over here on the side. It's not in the cave, it's around the side of the cave. With all these bees. Fucking bees, man. Don't you dare, bees. Leave me alone. That's what I thought. Fucking bees, man. I mean, these bees I can fight. They're not too high level, but I'd rather not have to fight a whole damn group of them. Oh, god damn it. We're right here. What the hell? Is something going to stop us from grabbing it? Did it disappear? What happened? Whoa, what? Now, I was about to ask you a few questions and you give me specific, concise answers. What? Huh? Run your mouth or try to lie and we'll have to try again in a setting. You'll find a lot less comfortable. What is happening right now? Am I... Did he send us to fucking get jumped? You're smart. You don't want any needless trouble. Best for everyone involved if you just cooperate. Okay. So question one. What did Professor B want from you? Uh... Who the fuck are you, buddy? I thought you were smart. Maybe I'm wrong. Is who I am more important than your own life? No, but you're a douche. 
All right, fine by me. I'll just invite you to a VIP room where nobody can ever get in to help you. Oh, yeah? What? You have all the time in the world to see how I do my job. Give you the GAD special. Hey, hey, you'll never be seen home again, pal. Really? We're going to fight other humans right now? This is happening? You motherfucker. All right. You want a fucking piece, bro? Then a piece you shall have. You think you're just so fucking cool, don't you, bitch? You know what? Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Humans on humans. We're supposed to be helping the human race, not destroying each other. But you know what? You want to be a douche? Then a douche, I shall deem you as I wreck you and your little sniping bitch friends. Your bitch ass little sniper friends are gonna wish they didn't fox with this guy. Boom, bitch. Beam snipe that, ho. Stagger that shit, son. Got that crit power. C R I T A C L A power, or something like that, if I can say the right letters. Dude, just die, sniper. Just die, sniper. I'll shoot you. Run away, these people down the walls. My shit just got all fucked up. My bad, I did not mean to do that with my headset. That was my bad. It's because I am singing songs as I destroy these bitch asses. Dude, yeah. Haven't you learned your goddamn lesson yet? Seriously, you're dead. You're dead, bro. You're dead. E-gads, you're dead. All right, last blade sniper. Say your last words, because you're about to have them. Last words, breath. <laughs> I can't even talk shit today. I'm fucking absolutely not on my talk shit game for shizzle. But at the very least, these bitches are almost dead, and that's all that matters. You did. All right, give me my ticky sap, bitch. I didn't even really like. I mean, I guess I could have told him what I was here for, but he probably still would have tried to fight me, right? I don't know, man. We may have just murdered some other humans for no reason other than the fact that they tried to attack us first. So, I mean, isn't that really a legit reason? Protect your own fucking self? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. Do you? Do you? Huh? I don't see anything wrong with protecting my own, my own shit. Those bitches tried to kill me. They tried to kill me. Them bitches tried to kill me. Hey, them bitches try to kill me. <laughs> God, I'm yawning. Why am I so tired? Fucking lazy boy over here. Getting tired playing video games. Oh, look. Here's another yellow deal. thing. More mission info. Yo, Pro B. Got one of your ticky tack saps. Yeah. Oh, you're back. Got that ticky sap for me? I do. Great. Now all I need is a body frame and I can get this up and running. Was that? Somebody named Gad attacked you while you were out looking for this? That's probably my fault. He's been after my technology for a while now. Oh, okay, I see. He must have realized he was no match for me directly and decided to pump you for information instead. Uh, what kind of uh, technology are we talking about? Put it this way, the stuff inside my brain would make a Manon's head explode. They're still banging rocks together by comparison. I guess after the trouble I caused, I could make a special exception and tell you who I am. Try to hang on to your socks. I came from the distant terminus of time and space. I am from the future. <laughs> I might be what you humans will look like in a hundred million years down the line. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Believe me or you don't. That's your call, kid. Vevin laughed even harder than you when I told him. None of that changes the fact that I need to get back to my own time as soon as possible. <gasps> He's building a time machine. And to do that, I need you to find me a car to serve as the Yak frame. Okay, can you tell me what it is yet? Oh, that's right. Unity doesn't come across an issue. How, um, how else will we describe it? Um, well, it's a device that overcomes the absolute wall of temporal causality. In layman's terms, it's a time machine. Exactly. I knew it. As soon as he started saying he was from the future. I've gotten word that a fellow named Graham is selling cars at a discount. Here's some cash, kid. Try to talk him into selling you the best vehicle for the money. Good luck, and while you're off doing that, I'll grab the other part I'll need for this experiment. Okay. I guess we can do that. I have plenty of money. Also, this just became a lab, all, or a fucking landmark for his lab all of a sudden. I mean, whatever. I do what I want. Anyway, are we going to commercial district? Because that's just like right there. We can walk there. I was just going to teleport, but it's literally right over here. What's the friggin' point? 
I tell you, what's the friggin' point? I don't remember seeing a car dealership over here, though. Yeah, it really wasn't that far away, though. Looks good to me. Also, I probably should have went that alleyway. Through the alleyway to the car dealer. There's a person on the roof over here? I don't think I talked to Leroy. Hey, yo, Leroy, what you doing? Leroy Jenkins, what are you doing up there, sir? Leroy! Eh, I tried. Fucking Leroy didn't want to have it, though. Oh, this is a car dealership? Okay, so I did. I have been here. Ram, I have money for you. If it's secondhand goods at ridiculous prices you're after, Graham's your man. I'll give you the deals the retail guys wouldn't dream of. Hmm? Professor B sent you? Ah, nice. He's one of my best customers. Uh, this all seems kind of shady. Car-wise, I've got a few options lined up for you. On the left there, you've got a blue standard model. The middle one's a junker. And then we got my red beauty. Okay. What's your pleasure? Whichever you like, I'll knock a chunk off the price for you. I kind of like the red one. As long as I get to drive it. You have a good eye, buddy. Top of the line taste. This baby's the sweetest ride on Mira or anywhere else. Probably the most expensive, too. But you tell me, is there a better use for 100,000 credits? The answer is no, by the way. I do have a lot of credits. Let's do it. Thanks much. I'll deliver it to Presser B's place for you free of charge. Yeah, he only gave us 10,000 credits, by the way. But I had the money to spare. I mean, what the fuck am I going to do with all these credits if I'm not going to buy weapons and armor and shit? Fucking spend it on quest missions that want to make me spend hundreds of millions and jillions of fucking monies. Anyway, I'm hoping I can actually finish off the damn mission with, with fucking whatever his name is. I already forgot his name because he's a douche. Yelf. No, not Yelf. Sorry, we already did the Yelf mission. The next one. Yes, he already forgot his name too. HB. What was his name? I forgot his name too. Fucking, his name was Birthmark or eight, something like that. Forgot his name. Anyway, yo, Vevin. What up? What you guys doing over here, huh? What you guys doing? Sorry, my, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting. I'm sorry. Anyway, come on, Vevin. You got to become a cornerstone for the next dazzling chapter of science. You men are disciples of science, aren't you? Now stop whining and get in the damn car. Sorry, Professor, but I think this thing is more of a tombstone than a cornerstone, you know, and I'm probably too young to die. Damn, I finally get a test rig up and working, and you're not gonna pull it, and you're gonna pull this crap on me? Uh, what the fuck's going on around here? Absolutely nothing, that's the problem. I brought my assistant Vevin here to play guinea pig for me, but he's gone chicken. I gave him the honor of riding in my Mira Mobile time machine, and he pays me with a silly tantrum. And after you went to the trouble of getting us this sweet ride. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, I agree. No more excuses, Vevin. Are you trying to pull all, put all this poor woman's hard work to waste? Well, I don't want to do that, but time travel seems pretty dangerous, doesn't it? I'm as intrigued about science as anyone, but I've only got one life to live, one life to give to you, you know? What, you don't trust me? If you're so confident, maybe you should be the one to take it for a ride, Professor. You're weirdly insistent that I'd be the one who tests it, you know? Well, of course, if I got sucked into a stray shithole, I'd be torn in shreds and Leave it to me, it's fine, I didn't say anything. I think that's probably the opposite of fine. Either way, I'm not getting in that vehicle. Owned. This Professor B guy is very shady, by the way, if I haven't pointed that out. Then it appears we are at an impasse here. Hey, kid, help me talk some sense into this fool. Um, appeal to Vevin's emotions or use logic. Um, let's go with logic. Or maybe just show him your boobs. I suppose you seem like a smart person. Different than my scientific mind, maybe, but still. I hear what you're saying, but none of it proves that it'll all be alright if I'm in, in that time machine. If that makes sense. What's that? Even if the test fails, Professor B will eventually succeed? And then he, he just needs to jump back to the moment before this test? That is true. And that way the machine from that successful trial will replace this initial failed prototype? Meaning I won't actually die in the canonical timeline? Hmm. <laughs> this is true. I feel like there's some circular reasoning in there somewhere, but I'm warming to the idea. Alright. Alright, Professor. I'll ride in your time machine. I hope I don't regret this. You'll do it? Haha! <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from my intrepid Manon assistant. <laughs> and nice work with the smooth talk there, ma'am. Alright. Now that we have the test subject, let's get this party started quickly. Right? Hurry up and get in the mirror mobile, Bevan. 
All right, let's see what happens. I'm actually interested here. I'm ready for you to send me to wherever dark corner of history you want, okay? All right, where are you sending him? One-way ticket to hell. Oh, God. Roger that. The Yashri is online. Setting destination for 3,000 years in the future. Vevin, are you ready to slip the bonds of time and take flight into that bright and distant tomorrow? Uh, absolutely, or I think, yes? Uh, I go! What? Oh, that was the Evan, sorry. Oh, well. Now, my precious mirror smash through the walls of the fourth dimension and rewrite the laws of the universe! Um, oh, this doesn't look good. I feel like it's gonna explode. Or do nothing? Anything? Uh, apparently nothing? He doesn't look too happy. Thought maybe the car was gonna melt or something. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything happened. Talk to Professor B about his research. So what the fuck just happened? Ah! What in the name of Sir Isaac H. Newton? The sucker hasn't even moved an inch. Why, damn it? I've been more alive for a thousand years, but this is a first. What could have been wrong wrong? Wait a minute, what are you all doing three thousand years in the future? Oh, say, wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, oh, Vevin's here, sorry. Did you perhaps follow me here in another of Presser Times? Oh, he thinks he won 3,000 years in the future. Thank you for coming, Presser. Are you folks ready to go explore the future? Uh, yeah, totally. The total lack of change in scenery after 3,000 years is rather remarkable, don't you think? It makes you wonder what happened to civilization in all those years, doesn't it? Oh, will you stop talking already? Clearly trusting you to pilot my machine was the biggest mistake ever. Damn, the numbers were there. If it hit the threshold, if that wasn't enough, then... Ugh. An attempting counter blah, blah, blah. navigation may be the only option left to us. In theory, that should allow for blah blah blah, even on a special temporal axis. Yes, that's surely it. I'm sorry to bother you again, kid, but could you bring me some of the topaz wine dropped by the primordial creatures called Tectin Sulas? Give me that, and I'll drive my machine through time. I swear it on every speck of science in my brain. Alright, well, I guess we have to go fight some Tectin Sulas now. That's, that's right. fun. All right, let's see if that other mission's done. I don't really want to do this one right now if I don't have to. I will do it now, because I'm kind of intrigued now. But is this one done yet? Damn it, when the fuck is this done? How long do you have to wait for a fucking thing to happen? Defa. Earn 3,000 credits from Frontier Nav in a single return. I should get that. How the hell do I get my return, man? I want my return. Give me my return. I want the return of the Jedi, man. Whatever. Guess we're just gonna go fucking do this again. In Oblivia. Oh. He said Primordia, but he did say Primordi in, but he just said, okay, so we gotta go get it from Tecton Sula or others in Oblivia. He didn't say which Tecton Sula, I guess. Um. Okay, regardless of that, I... Wait, never mind, there it is. As I was just about to question how much longer it's gonna take, I was literally about to say, I wonder how much longer. Never mind. Looks like we're done with it. Let's go talk to HB Wells over here. Good, I'm glad that's done, because I was like, I don't really want to do the rest of this Professor B mission right now, because I don't want to go look for the right Tekton Sula to kill. Although I still might do that in this episode, I just didn't want to do it yet wanted to finish this goddamn HG fucking Wells mission over here. Yo, HB. Fucked your missions up so fast you don't even know, man. Your head's fucking spinning right now, and you know it. And you know it. Finally back, are you? Bitch, please. that you aren't finished yet, but something's taken precedence. However, I'll be good enough to offer an extension on our little contest in the meantime. Bitch, I did all three your missions in about two seconds. Yeah, see, I'm already done, son. Yes, I realize you... Uh, what? Done as incomplete. Yeah, that's right. Suck a fat cock. Well, like a whole bag actually, of them. I completed them as well, so I suppose it's not impossible. Still, this is something of a shock. Bitch, I've been done. It seems my initial assessment of you may have been lacking. Damn right it has. Perhaps it would be best to brief you on this mission. 
And now we're going to go on a mission with him, aren't we? By hostile indigents in a cavern and attacked. He is a scientist of most considerable repute. Okay. LA cannot afford to lose his talents. Okay. Do you understand? Do you a see? Delay on our part could risk the future of human technology. Then maybe we should take care of this. Do you feel capable of a Do you feel? Operation? Do you feel like I'm, I'm capable? Of of, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. I swear. These guys love just want to be kicked in the nuts. Whatever. We're gonna help. We're gonna not help. Let us set out immediately. I'm taking a risk on you. You know. I hope you will not disappoint. You're probably like level five. Compared to my level 21, so you can suck a fat cock, you bitch. Actually, I'm level 22, and you're level 12, so, you know what? I don't want to hear your shit, HB Wells. More like HB Garbage. Alright, let's go save this goddamn person. You know he's in Primordia in a cave, all alone. Where's he at? Where you at on the map, bitch? I need to go save you. Where you at? No, seriously, where the fuck's he at? What the? What the? What the? Where the hell's bitch on the mat? What? The fuh? Oh. I was clicking on my arrow. It's actually over in Noctil. I'm sorry. I'm wasting time. Gotta love it. Okay. Over here, I guess. To the old dragon tail tree. Here we, here we go to the dragon tail tree. Very, very blessed. BZ, can you see? Looks like, uh, are we going in the cave again? We might have to go in the cave. It did say he was in a corner of a cave, so I'm assuming it's probably this cave that we've gone in so very many times before. I'm just going to assume that it is. Noctilum's Rust Lake. Wait. Rust Lake? Wait a second. If I look at the map... Ooh, I am... Not entirely sure that this is inside. He did say corner of a cave, though, didn't he? I mean, he did say the words, corner of a cave. He, well, he didn't say corner, he just said he cornered. Fuck, now I'm not sure. I might be wasting my time going in here, guys. Rusty Lake. Rusty Soul. Hmm. Let's see if this is worth my time. Let's see if this is worth the time and effort it takes to go through. Actually, this is not. I just realized... We've been through this cave already a bunch of times, haven't we? And it just leads out the backside. Yeah. God damn it. Fucking teleport back out there. Oops. That's actually not where I meant to teleport. You know what? It might actually be closer. Let's see. Aw, oh, fuck. I don't want to fight you guys. I'm trying to get by you guys. Fuck you guys. This actually might be slightly closer now that I think about it. As long as the Tharos Scorbo don't murder my family, we'll be fine. Or that fucking crocodile. Get the crocodile out of here. Crocodilly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, crocodilly. I didn't mean to antagonize you. I'm just trying to get by. Man, these Dialuses are after me now. Why the fuck do you think I'd be chasing this shit? Anyway, we're here. We're here. Where you at? Oh. What the f- he's right here? Seriously? It was right there. Oh my god, I walked away from where I needed to go. Wait, is he up here? Is he down here? Where's he at? Dude. Are you- what? Um. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Went right by this bastard. Just sitting there on the ground all by himself. You're the reinforcements? Yeah. Fucking do I- what do I look You're like? You're the escort detail, yes? Can you give me a status report? Are you alive? Yeah. They're all dead. Dead. They're all dead. Swarm. The, the scientists survived. He hid in a vehicle. Further ahead. But you just said they're all dead. Dead. I. We can't waste any more time. Let's clear out the creatures ahead, then evacuate our scientists. This guy doesn't need our help at all. Say that you should help the injured blade. You wish to prioritize a nameless grunt over the life of an important Bitch, please. Scientist. Talk Come about now, being human, right. son. I'm being son, realistic. That man is a professional. He'll die happy knowing <laughs> his client is safe. We should save as many humans as possible. Haven't you been learning? We'll move quickly, but cautiously. Wow. What a douche cake. 
This fucking guy. I'm gonna kick this motherfucker in his nuts. In his nuts! How many times do I gotta say it before I actually do it? I don't know. A million more, I'm sure. Alright, where the fudge is this dialus at that needs to get fucking... I need to dial it up and dialus this dialus to death. Where you at, dialus? Probably went the long way. Which means I went the wrong way. Yes, I did. He's up on that ledge, yo. That ledge, yo. Not in the water, ho. He did say he was hiding in a vehicle. No, not you. No, not you again. Go that way. Or you. Alright, here's the thing we need to fight. Fucking Dylas over here. Fucking Dylas over here, man. Have I even killed a Dylas yet? Because all the Dyluses I saw early on were all too high level to fight. This might be the first one we fought, actually. Either way, easy peasy level 15 beasy. This shit is over before it's over. It ain't over till I say it's over, and it was over before I said it. So, fucking contradictory statements for the win. But seriously, this bitch is dead. Wrecked. Fucking wrecked. You good, Solan? You good? Did you piss yourself a few times? You're good, right? Is it safe? Indeed, and all thanks to the blades you're always sneering at. Yeah, Each bitch. Is that you? You came running to save me? Oh, uh, he wanted to fucking boy, rub I'm this sure in this dude's face, right face and you knew buddy. it. Who boy? That has nothing to do with this. I just wanted to come over here and rub I it in your face. Because you have certain skills. Skills that NLA requires. Your death would be <laughs> You have certain skills, a certain set of skills. Same old HB. <laughs> Still Saved my life, and I won't forget it. Better not, I'll never bitch. Make another crack about Blade either. Scientists honor. Lies. All lies. As I say, researchers are vital to our success on Mira. But without us, you'd all be dead. You'd all be dead. And you, you performed well. Truth be told, I might have struggled on my own. Oh, you would have. You're only level 12, bitch. If I can return the favor at some point, I would be open to assisting you. Eh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Being your partner, Pasha. Fine. Uh, whatever. I'll talk shit, but I'll leave him alone for now. Future Blade Commander. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll uh we'll work on that. In the meantime, another affinity mission complete and it looks like we got another party member available. Holy crap, man. Affinity missions all over the place. But see, so far all we've done is recruit a bunch of dudes. Where is all the vagina in this party? I mean, we've had a vagina party from the get-go. All we've recruited is dudes though. So, we need some more women up in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Who the fuck wants a piece? You? What? Oh, come, get out of here. I'm not fighting these bees. I was just trying to teleport. I wasn't even looking up. I was looking at my damn map for a minute. I wanted to get the hell out of here. I still want to get the hell out of here, damn it. Go away. I'm not fighting bees right now. Go away. Go away. Alright. Can we get the hell out of here now? Alright. To the motherfucking... What am I doing? Um, I know there's at least one more affinity mission we can do for sure. I'm wondering if there's more than one. I'm going to go look around for a minute. I'll meet you at another one, though. All right. I decided we're going to go ahead and do the affinity mission that was required for Chapter 6. If only because there are a few other ones I can do. But this is actually the lowest level one left that I know of. And uh, let's go ahead and start this bitch up. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. We'll go ahead and use Douche Cake fucking HB with us for this mission. Even if he is underleveled, maybe he'll catch up. So, that's the story. What's the story? Now it'll take you through some dangerous territory, but they're almost out of supplies. Okay. I'm a bit surprised. Pathfinders should know better than to get stranded out there. Yeah, they should. Those dumbasses. Believe it or not, it's loud. Oh, and that's why he's restricted member for this one. I thought he was pretty on the ball. Apparently not today. Organized and together like Tatsu. <laughs> yeah, if only. When he actually gives a damn. 
How do you mean? Lately, the slacker's been wandering off mid-mission, leaving his men to do the heavy lifting. What a lazy ass. Who knows what the hell that boy's thinking. Uh... <laughs> he's disappointing at best. I don't maybe know what the hell he's doing. He ain't said a peep about it to me. Yeah, I was saying, maybe there's maybe something wrong. And mustache scare Lau away. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Wait, what'd you just say? <laughs> He didn't realize. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Right. No time to waste. And thanks. Yeah, so stop talking to me and let me go do this shit, son. Alright, we're gonna go give him supplies. Sounds like a plan. I assume I already have said supplies, we just need to go. Bring supplies to side in in Oblivia's barbaric desert. Alright, let's do it. Let's just go. Why waste time, yo? It's already pretty much an area that we can teleport nearby. So let's do it. I'm not entirely sure if this is a good point to teleport to that's actually going to be nearby there. I actually might need to teleport to a different probe if this is the probe I think it is. And it is, so let's teleport to the other probe. This is the one by that damn waterfall. We don't want to go over there. That's not nearby where I want to be, I don't think. Based on what I see on the map, I think this might be the closest one. So let's hope that that's the case. And they'll run our crunchy ass over here. Barbaric desert. Hey, look, an area we haven't even uncovered. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's an armored Swid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Swid. You're, oh, he's level 29. That's not That's not good. I thought he was 24. Not 29. Scary. That's a scary Swid. Scary Swid. Su Swid. Don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him. Running like hell. Running like hell. That level 12, that level 12 bastard better start catching up. Otherwise, he gonna fall so far behind, I ain't gonna use his ass. I'm sure he can catch up quickly if I fight some hard monsters and he doesn't die. But anyway, in the meantime, let's deliver these supplies to Mr. Mr. Uh, Saiden. Ninja Saiden. Probably over here by this water hole, maybe? I am getting close on the map, so gotta be over here somewhere. Ninja Saiden, where are you? There they are. Just chilling around by all these monsters. They got a scale, though. They're good. They're good. They're gonna be just fine. They got a scale. What problems could they possibly be having? You guys really saved our bacon. Now we can finally get back to work. Where the fuck's Lao at? And I'm sure Lao's as well. Don't mention it. We're just doing our job, same as you. Fuck is he at, by the way? Any idea where Lao is? Or why he just up and left like that? No idea. And even less of an idea when he'll return. I'm sure he's just giving us a chance to grow. Oh, sure that's it. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> what? Don't give me that look. I still trust him. Mostly. Hey, I'd be pretty upset if someone forgot to restock and then left me stranded. <laughs> Actually, that was our mistake, not his. He just left us dead weights behind while he finished the job. He's always been like oh. that, actually. Always? Wait, you must be... Sidon, ma'am. I've been working with Lao since we were back on Earth. Truth be told, he's the only reason I ever made it into Project Exodus. Without his recommendation, I'd be long dead. Me and Mondo worked on the Frontier Nav development team. Needless to say, we've been big fans of Laos ever since. Oh, I'm Shingo, by the way, and that there is Mondo. I have no idea you had such respect for Lao. I'm sorry if it sounded like I was bad mouthing you. And where the hell's he at? Anyway, are you all set here now? Oh, we should be fine. Except. Except. What? Well, we still have a probe to place, but the location is swarming with indigents. Oh, and you won't be able to clear it out, do you? Most of the fighting. And by most, I mean all. Oh, so you're a bunch That's of useless case, bastards, I get happy it. To escort you. Really? Wow! It'd be an honor to work with your team, ma'am. We'll move as fast as we can. Sure you will. Hmm. Don't look at me like that, Mondo. Similar vibe, from these two. Similar vibe? All right, anyway. Okay, I guess we're going to the meeting point in front of the Oblivious Leaning Ring. I'm assuming this big-ass halo-looking thing is the Leaning Ring. 
And when I say Halo, I literally mean the game Halo. That is a giant monkey over there. Look how big that monkey looks from here. I am scared to see how big it looks up close. Holy shit. That's hella big. Is that bigger than the other big ass monkeys we've been seeing from around the world? I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that's a giant ring. It's the leaning ring of cheese, -a baby. We got some strong eye run. I'm not entirely sure that's a monkey, but it looks like one. It looks like a simian. Simias. Definitely some kind of monkey, bitch. Gonna stay away from him, though. Level 55. Brutal Vigent. Okay, so he's not a regular monkey. He's a battle kind of monkey. Got that jet turtle, yo. That jet turtle doesn't know what it's got in store for me. That's a big monkey. Big ass monkey. That's a big fucking monkey. That monkey's hella big, yo. Got a magical finding rod. Oops. Ah. Oops. Ah. Got a magical finding rod. Oops. Ah. Alright. Like We're here. Just beyond here. Understood. We'll handle You're echoing a little loud, bro. The area secure. Can we use your skill, though? Elma's amazing. She's so strong and professional and beautiful. <laughs> hey, hey. Stop staring at my ass. Huh? Mm, Tatsu know how friends feel. No need for shame about being ineffective and useless lump. <laughs> Thanks. I just... <laughs> Wait, who are you calling a useless lump? Yeah, you stinking potato. But yet, there you are, staying behind while I go fight. And yet, Tatsu's going with me. That should probably prove Tatsu's point, actually. Alright, what are we killing? Uh, level 15 things? Psh, I got this. Wait, Denizumi Mouse. Don't I need some of those? I'm gonna grab all of those. I feel like I need those for one of the collectible quests that I might have not held on to. Anyway, let's kill some Chasm Forfexes, what do you say? They're only level 15, 16 enemies. We can fuck them up real nice. Oh, real nice. Come on, HB. Make yourself useful, you bastard. HB Wells over here. Fucking useless. No, seriously. Having only three party members that can do anything feels worse than having two, or just three. And then nobody there. That's what it feels like. It feels like I don't have a fourth character right now. That's how shitty this guy is. By this guy, I mean H.B. Wells. Dude, we're level 22 versus this level 16 thing. Kick some more ass, please. There you go. That's the damage we needed. Jesus. We still have to kill five more of these bitches? I, ah. Uh... Alrighty then. We got all six of those bitches. They all dead. Head past the canyon south. Okay. Are we? I guess we're gonna ditch our little friends. I don't know. I'm just collecting all the blue things in here because some of these might be rare. I don't know. Might as well collect everything you see. Yada da I mean. Yada yada da I mean. I'm assuming Lao's gonna be over here, right? Like, what's the point of this whole mission if we're not gonna find Lao at the end, right? He's gonna be by the probe because that's the whole point. He's gonna finish the mission. He was gonna finish the mish. Finish the mish. Gubura cabbage leaf, huh? Right. Closing in on him. Where's he at? Hey yo, Lao, where you at, son? Oh, okay. Wow. It's clear. You carved through those guys like butter. Eh, it's just a bunch of bugs. We'll right on the data I've seen open. Starship Troopers. I know how to take out you giant bugs. Keep an eye on the area so you can focus on your work. Guard the area while you guys probe the fuck out of it. Things seem to be going well. Thanks to you. We should have this baby ready to rock in just a few minutes. Rocked, cocked, and ready to rock. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. You guys might want to run. Can we use your skill? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Oh, holy crap! Sighted! We, we gotta get out of here! Go if you want. I'm not moving until 
until this thing is finished. Huh? You got a death wish or what? Hell, I'm just a mimi or so, right? Why not die from life? Yeah. What do you do? Three sets of hands will get this done quicker than one, right? Yeah, Thanks. just stand there and watch me finish probing. Emma. Come on, let's keep that thing away from them. Alright, nod and say nothing's getting past you. Huh. <laughs> say you'll kick enough ass for everyone? Hell yeah! Don't it's get my cocky. fucking rock. Keeping oh, I, oh, I'll get cocky. Oh, I'll get cocky. Understood. Alright, here we go. This is a, uh... Uh, a thing. But you know what? It's only fierce and it's only a vision. We got this. He's level 19. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. Anyway. Is he staggered? Yeah, I think I just, I think he just got staggered. Yep. Oh, I failed. I failed. I failed you all. Anyway, this thing is giant. Remember when I said this thing was huge from far away? Well, this is basically the same fucking thing. It's just not as hard. Also, HB, you're a useless bastard. Just die. You are f fucking useless. I'm thinking about aggro in this thing just so it attacks me and leave my leave my friends alone. Leave HB alone. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Here I am trying to dodge like I'm playing Bayonetta. Dude, that thing almost killed me. What? Dude. Seriously? Dude. I should go get a different party member. HB is a useless fuck. I'm tempted. We, why are we not doing more damage? I don't give a shit about HP. We don't even need HP. There we go. That I needed right there. That was big. That was a critical juncture in this battle. Because that was looking like death for me for a second. Is he staggered? Or what's going on right now? Alright, now he is. Get him. Boom, bitch. Toppled. And I got the perfect this time. Good. Let's try this out. I'm still not 100% sure like what the fuck's the point of this overdrive thing. But I think like using abilities is part of what we want to do. Oh damn it, I missed it. Fuck. Missed it. Party total, 7,000. That doesn't seem terrible. This thing has a lot of HP by the way. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this guy. Oh, ah, I keep missing it. I'm gonna lose. I keep missing my chance to heal. Yep, there I go. I missed my fucking chance to heal too many times. Alright. Thinking about going to grab a different party member for this guy. Let's try him one more time. Shadow we strike. Try this bitch one more time. See if we can handle it if we do a little bit better on the fucking abilities. Got him! Yes! Whew, that was not easy. Man. Whew, I was holding my breath the whole time. All right. Looks like the probe is up and running. Sweet, where the fuck's the Lao? Data from this area can be uploaded to Frontier Nav. It wouldn't have been possible without your help. No kidding. The rumors don't do your team justice. Don't sell yourselves short. It was your team as much as ours that saw this mission through. If you say so. Mm -hmm. Tatsu definitely gets similar vibe from these two. What? Because we don't talk? Is that all you needed then? Yes, we're all good now. 
We'll finish a few calibrations and then head back. By the way, where the fuck's Lao? All right, team. Move out. Yes, ma'am. Is that really all? We're done? Okay. Head to Division Drive in the Min District and meet with Sidon's group. I'm assuming meeting with his group means we're going to meet with Lao and be like, yo, Lao, uh, you're a lousy leader of a group. I uh, pretty much did this mission for you, and you're welcome. Pretty much. <sighs> Let's just wrap up this uh, affinity mission, and then we can call it a night. Because, man, that was a tedious but also pretty fun battle to do. I, I was on the edge of my toes. Also, if you didn't notice, I actually switched my party member out. I just shouldn't. Sh I should show you guys. Mr. Cornrows back there, he's a person that I scouted to join my party. He's only level 15, but it was higher level than douchebag fucking HB over here. So anyway, and plus his abilities were better than HB as well, because that actually helped me topple that bastard a lot more often than I was doing without, I mean, with HB. So that helped a lot, actually. Anyways, um, we're where we need to be, right? Or do we need to be above? Really? Need to go up? Really? Really? You're going to make me go up. How do I go up from here? Is there a lift right here? Oh no, he's right there. <laughs> They're just on the wrong side of the wall. Yo, bitches, what up? What? Lau came back after we left? Classic timing, huh? We told him all about how you saved the day. All he said was be sure to thank him. Then he wandered off again to who knows where. <laughs> Fucking Lau. Never a dull moment with that one. That's how it should be. <gasps> he said a word. Better than the alternative. I hear you. I haven't forgotten how he was when we first got here. What do you mean? Lao's skills as a pathfinder are pretty special. They're going to help humanity carve out a life here on Mira. Okay. But he didn't board the White Whale because he thought he was useful. He... He did it so he could get his wife and daughter on the ship. Ah. He thought his abilities would permit his family passage. But... They didn't make it on board. War hit right before he would have suffered. Oh. Damn it. Those were some dark days for him. Lao was empty. Like his soul was just gone. I don't know what he's been doing lately, but whatever it is, he gives him purpose. It's good to see him live. Not that it makes getting left behind any easier. I've told you a hundred times already. If you had better skills, Lao wouldn't need to worry so much. Yeah. You guys really do love him, don't you? But no one loved their leader more than Team Top to Love Elma. <laughs> no one. Okay. All right, another affinity mission complete, my friends. Finally. Okay. Today has been a productive day. We learned a javelin art. I'll take it. Okay. So I think we might be ready to do Chapter 6. If I'm not, well, we'll figure out what else we need to do in the next episode. But I think I might have all the prerequisites complete now that that affinity mission is done. And because that one had to do with Lau, if Lau's not required for Chapter 6, I think maybe I'll bring Lau along, just for the hell of it. Either way, we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next episode, but I assume we're going to continue on with the main story. We've had enough side missions for a few minutes, so let's go ahead and continue on with the main story in the next one. See you guys then. Peace!